Yo, what's going on everybody? I'm Akeem Lawanson and in today's Fix of Entertainment news with the Flash movie set for June, director Andy Muschietti weighs in on a potential sequel. Now, how would that fit into James Gunn's overall plans for the DCU? Now, a fan favorite animated series is returning to Cartoon Network, Beetlejuice is making a comeback and more on today's Fix. Let's drop it. <laughs> Alright, now CinemaCon 2023 has blessed us with the Flash movie trailer pretty much delivering everything we'd ever want to see and expect from the DC film. And with the highly anticipated movie hitting theaters June 16th, the trailer opens up with Michael Keaton's Batman describing what it was like to lose his parents and the similar pain of losing a loved one as Miller's Barry Allen has gone through with the loss of his mother. Now the only difference is no matter how much crime fighting Bruce Wayne does as Batman, his actions cannot bring back his parents. Now the Flash managed to do just that and now the entire DC multiverse must suffer the consequences of his selfish actions. Now Barry pretty much broke the universe with the return of General Zod and a few other surprises best reserved for when the movie releases in theaters. Now we see Ben Affleck's Bruce Wayne making an appearance to deliver a few sage words to the Flash. Hey, scars we have. Make us who we are. Now, as for a little more insight to what we can expect from the film, the official description reads, quote, Worlds collide in the Flash when Barry uses his superpowers to travel back in time in order to change the events of the past. But when his attempt to save his family inadvertently alters the future, Barry becomes trapped in a reality in which General Zod has returned, threatening annihilation, and there are no superheroes to turn to. That is, unless Barry can coax a very different Batman out of retirement and rescue an imprisoned Kryptonian, albeit not the one he's looking for. Ultimately, to save the world that he is in and return to the future that he knows, Barry's only hope is to race for his life. But will making the ultimate sacrifice be enough to reset the universe? Hmm, that's a question best saved for when we see the movie. And WB released this official poster showing the heroes looking off into the distance at whatever threat they might be going up against. Now, fans are well aware that the movie was inspired by the DC Comics Flashpoint story, where our titular hero inadvertently alters the DC Universe's timeline after attempting to save his mother in the past. Now, this led to the New 52 rebooting the DC Universe. Now, in the real world that we're living in, James Gunn and Peter Safran are set to reboot the DC Universe with their 8-10 to 10 year plan of DC films and shows in what they've dubbed Chapter 1, Gods and Monsters. Now, as for the Flash movie, there's already been positive reception around it for those that have gotten early screenings. Hell, even Tom Cruise reportedly loved it. And with that, the obvious question that arises is, can we expect a sequel to the movie? Now, fortunately, director Andy Muschietti addressed it during a Q&A session at a press screening of The Flash. He said, quote, we didn't talk about it. I think that we are waiting to see how this movie does. Of course, there is excitement about continuing the story, especially if this movie is successful. Of course, there is an architecture at DC that is brewing and being created. And the question is, will this new architecture absorb this story? Now, that is a very valid question, as James Gunn has already laid out the roadmap for the first chapter he and Safran have planned for the DCU moving forward. Now, as of right now, there's no word just yet on whether or not Ezra Miller's Flash will return in any upcoming movies or shows. Now, given the actor's previous indiscretions, it's likely WB might want to steer clear of casting Miller in any upcoming long-term projects. Now, with alleged crimes of grooming, breaking into a neighbor's house to steal booze, and legal issues across multiple state lines, it's probably best to just wait and see how things kind of shake out with this current project before solidifying anything else. Now, the Flash movie has been pushed back multiple times for a myriad of reasons, some presumably due to Ezra Miller's public misconduct. But fortunately, the movie is still on pace to release in just a couple of months, and according to a report from The Hollywood Reporter, a sequel, yes, that's right, a sequel to the film has already been penned by the writer of the Aquaman movie, supposedly in case this film does well in theaters. So we'll have to see how things shake out come June. Right now in Marvel news, Zoe Zaldana is done with Marvel movies after Guardians 3. Now speaking to The Hollywood Reporter, she said, quote, I don't think this is the end for the Guardians. 
it is the end for me for Gamora. And honestly, you can't blame her. She's played the role in four different Marvel movies dating back to 2014. Now, it might be time for her to just, you know, take a break. Now, Dave Bautista has also said he's done with Drax, so it seems our Guardians are going their separate ways. But in that interview with THR, Zoe did tease that it might not be the end for the Guardians, which could mean some of the members could pop up in other movies and TV shows. Now, we've seen it several times in the MCU, so it's more than possible for some of the heroes to make a return. Or a future Guardians movie could have a new lineup, as multiple characters have joined and left the team's ranks in the comics, so who knows? Now, here's at least hoping we'll see the return of some of our fan favorites, like Rocket and Groot. Now, speaking of which, Beetlejuice is making a return in a sequel to the 1988 movie. Now, people in attendance at CinemaCon briefly saw the Beetlejuice logo pop up during WB Discovery Showcase, reigniting the fan base of the ghost with the most. Now, while not confirmed, there's a report circulating that production will begin in May or June of this year, with Tim Burton and Michael Keaton set to return. Now, obviously, it wouldn't be a Beetlejuice movie without those two elements and Winona Ryder, so fingers crossed that they'll all be attached to this project. Now, looking at the Flash trailer, Keaton's in great physical shape and still primed to play the green-haired ghost. It's showtime. And with that, we wrap things up with another franchise that's returning from the dead with Totally Spies. Y'all remember that cartoon? The iconic French-Canadian animated series will be hitting Cartoon Network and Max next year, serving as the seventh season of the classic 2000s TV series. Now, why after all this time, they're dusting off this forgotten franchise is beyond me, but here's hoping they'll do the very same with Code Lyoko. Now, those shows used to air back to back and were the jam back in the day. All right, and that about does it for today's Fix of Entertainment News. I'm Akeem Lawanson, and thank you so much for watching. Now that you're caught up on today's news, please check out our previous episode. Download the IGN app on all your devices, and for everything else, stick with IGN.